I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters. Thanks so much for watching. Today we're here to talk about reducing stress while moving. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters, and today I'm here with Giovanna Eastocean from G Spa Massage Clinic, and we're here to talk about reducing stress while moving. So thanks so much for joining me today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So how can they be sure when they're moving and packing and lifting and doing all these things that they don't normally do on a regular basis, how can they make sure that they're moving properly? Sure. So when you're moving, you use your whole body. Um, you want to use your legs a lot, your quads. So of course, I can show you some demonstrations on how to properly lift a box and how to put down a box. And then of course, there's repetitive motion that can cause injuries. Um, as well. So when you're taping the boxes and you don't ever want to do any over the shoulder lifts because that's a really bad movement for you. So one of the things that you want to focus on when you're moving is to really know how to use your body. One of the ways is to use your quads, okay? So when you're lifting something, and this may seem obvious but we tend to forget, is you don't want to lift by using your back. You don't want to bend and you don't want to pick up something and use your back muscles because that's how you throw your back out. So again, when you're lifting a box, you want to use your quads, bend, pick up, and come back up. So let the legs do the work. That's one of the you know, most common back injuries is somebody bending and using their hips and their back for all the work rather than using their quads. That's number one. Number two is if you are moving with a box, don't pivot your um, waist. You have your box, you take your body this way, you walk it over and you place it where you need to place it. We tend to, because we're in such a hurry, we grab the box, we twist, we pivot, and we uh, lay it down and we've now just created a lot of stressors in our lower body and our joints. Um, third also, as I mentioned earlier, is if you are stacking boxes, do not go over your um, shoulders. It's a big stressor for your neck and shoulder muscles, so you definitely want to make sure that you have somebody there to help you, um, or do not stack your boxes too high. Those are three common um, things that you want to do when you're moving. Also, too, when you are um, kind of have the repetitive motion of with the tape putting on your boxes, again, make sure your boxes are in front of you. Don't overreach, don't overextend when you're putting tape on the boxes. Those are uh, some few suggestions on that. Now, uh, certain things that you can do after you've had your day of packing and moving and lifting and pulling and tugging, some specific exercises. This is just rolling your body forward, keep your body straight, shoulder length, and you're just gonna drop your head slowly and just pull your body forward nice and slow, okay? Now, if you can, keep your knees straight let your arms hang and go all the way down as you can. If you cannot, it's okay to bend your knees, okay? So go ahead and slightly bend your knees if you cannot keep them straight and just let your whole body hang as much as you can, almost to where your fingers are touching the ground. This is actually uh, stretching the whole body, neck, shoulders, back, your rhomboids, your quads, your hamstrings, everything. Another way you can stretch, of course, now since you're doing a lot of arm work, is just doing, this is a really basic one, it's a good scapula and rhomboid stretch, and you're just pulling right here, and you can feel a really good stretch there. And then let's not forget the neck and shoulders. Neck and shoulders tend to have a lot of tension when lifting with the upper body, so you want to make sure to go ahead and just lean your neck to the side, take your hand, and just pull it gently, and you're going to feel a really good stretch. If you tend to do those types of things with proper uh, mechanics while um, stretching or while moving and stretching afterwards every day, that'll be able to help you combat um, the potential uh, injuries that you could occur and maybe prevent them. Well, thanks so much for showing us all those stretches. And if you would like to get a massage or talk to Javon about anything else there, you can reach her. Sure, you can give us a call at 213-632-8180 or go to our website, www.g-spamassage.com and you can book your appointment online. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again for coming on over. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. And of course, if you have any real estate related questions, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 
or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching.